So now our app is all ready. It's properly named, it has an icon specified, it's properly versioned, and we have a signed APK. So now we're ready to put it on the Play Store. To do that, we have to register as an Android developer, and that costs $25. So no big deal there, there's no other requirements. Then we go into the Play Store in our registered account, and we publish an Android app. We give the app its name, and then we would most likely upload the APK. We won't waste your time doing that, it's just a straight file upload. And we prepare the store listing. The store listing, of course, wants the title of the app. It also wants a description. The information that you're entering here is going to be publicly available. So most of what you're putting in here is really marketing because you want people to buy or download your app. So you give it a description, promo text, any recent changes or updates, and then you can put in graphics. You can put in graphics for your logo, and you can also put in graphics for your screenshots. And note the screenshots are for phone 7 inch and 10 inch tablets. It gives you places to put in your icons, any kind of featured graphic or image, and a promotional graphic. And you can even put up a video. So again, the focus on this is really marketing and getting the public to download it. You categorize it, whether it's an app or a game, and then in what category the app fits. And a content rating. And your contact details and website, and also a privacy policy, which is not required. Next is the pricing and distribution. We're just going to leave that without saving it. You can select the countries in which you want to be able to distribute it. And this is important because if you do not check off the countries, then they will not be able to download your app in those countries. Having lived in a foreign country for a little bit, I can tell you that a lot of people forget this. And then there's Google Play for Education, if this is an educational app. And there's some marketing opt-outs that you've obeyed the content guidelines and you're obeying export laws. It'll also ask if you have any in-app billing or in-app products. And also if you're using Google Cloud Messaging and any licensing for your in-app billing. And whether you're using Google Play Game Services. None of these apply to a basic app, but it's good to know that they're there and available for options in the future. Once you have a draft and you've filled out all the information properly, you'll be able to publish your app. And after you've published, the app is available to the public shortly thereafter, one to two days typically. There isn't a testing program like Apple, so you're on your own in terms of testing. Essentially, you test it and your users test it. So now we're done and we're published. Congratulations.